Wife Hot Life, and you can learn more about that on our website as well if you want to be an ambassador. However, we're talking about Hot Wife Hot Life, how to make your relationship last, and we were talking about relationships being hard work, being work every day. You have to put in work just like you do on your job, just like you do with your dreams, just like you do in exercising. You got to do that much work with your mate. And so I was saying, am I focusing on the wrong word, hard? Maybe that's throwing me off a little bit. Call in 770-415-2149, 770-415-2149. We would love to hear from you. Monica, you remember what you're going to say? Yes. Okay, you can pick yes. back up. I do want to say this. I want to say that one thing we are talking about is how to make your marriage last or how does it, and in lasting, let's again be truthful. I don't want just a long marriage. Mm. I want a good marriage. Amen. And I, I think maybe I heard hard negatively. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear it in a different form. So that's me. And so I don't know what other people are hearing, but that's what I heard. So that's why I was like, if we could break but that when, thing down, break it down. again, we're going to keep it real. Work <laughs> is work. And there is work that can be fun. But this marriage thing, it is times where it is going to be oh, hard yes. work. Yes. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for anyone. That's right. It's going to <coughs> Excuse me. That's right. Saying, hey, I have someone that I'm with. Maybe as a woman, I'm not a good communicator. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. therefore, I am not. That means that I'm going to have to work on me. I may have to talk, you know, take some classes. I may have to <laughs> learn how to communicate differently. Amen. Right. All communication ain't verbal. Absolutely. Sometimes That's you right. got to know it. I can't express myself verbally to you. Okay, baby, well, what I need you to do, because this is something my husband and I went through for a long time. He's not a verbal communicator. Mm -hmm. But he can send me a eight-page letter and tell the full story from when we saw a day when we were 16. And I'm saying, hey, you know, why didn't you talk about this before? Right. But again, communication is communication. Right. So for all these years that I'm saying, I want you to talk to me, that's not his way of communicating. Exactly. Mm. He kind of shuts down. He doesn't come quick on his feet like mm -hmm. I do. So mm -hmm. therefore, he's feeling in the, and what I'm thinking is communication, I'm the only person talking. Right. So therefore, if I'm the only person talking, he ain't getting none in. Right. So right. sometimes you have to step back, reevaluate, come at it a different way, and that can be hard work. When I have to sow into somebody else's dream, mm -hmm. When I got to put my dream on hold, because right now your dream is what's going to get us to the finish line or get us in the playoffs, that's hard work. Amen. Because maybe I haven't had somebody to so it ain't my time yet. Mm -hmm. May not be my turn. It's your turn. So compromise. So that's what I'm saying. Yes, work is work, and it can be good work, but it can be hard work. When you have two people yeah. that sometimes ain't on the same Plans no, exactly. the same book. The exactly. same nothing. About exactly. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yes. So, no, definitely it can be taken negatively, mm -hmm. but the real expectation needs to be set so that when you say, you know what, I remember A. Fox said it was going to be hard work. <laughs> this is what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. Amen. This right here, when I got to compromise when I don't want to. Yes. When I got to hold it down for the family and work the two jobs because right now he's right. sick or unemployed. This right. is the hard work. Yes. Right. When I got to be daddy, mama, because you still dealing with emotional issues Amen. because your father won't in your life Amen. and your mama didn't know how to nurture you. Amen. Right. Yeah. Mean, you tell it real yes. No, you're keeping it real. Yes. Like, no, you're oh, telling it. You're right. Some days when, no, <laughs> yes. it's going to be weak. Okay. And sometimes so years. Months. Sometimes years. But okay. we can't keep score. That's right. We can't keep score. Oh, I love that you said that. I love that you said that. Even when you want to. Exactly. You that, want to give a running tally. Oh, remember when I and I did and you can't keep score. I love that you Not said that, yes, yes, that yes, Monica, okay. because as I was um, you know, uh researching this topic over mm -hmm. the week. Um, I took an article from Men's Health, right? 
I always like to get a male okay. perspective just to see what they think. And they said that there were eight simple ways to make your marriage last. And I would love for us to delve into them. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that it talked about was, number one, make it your top priority. Your marriage has to be your top priority over work, over, mm -hmm. you know, family. Your marriage is, mm -hmm. is first. What do you guys, uh, you know, want to expound on with that particular comment? I agree. I think I've read that as well. Like, uh, over your, your, your marriage is first, then your kids, then your job, then your... And I think that um, sometimes we we do those things out of order. I think we've talked about this before on this show about balance mm -hmm. and the importance of balance in your life and how that's going to determine um, how the stressors come, how you handle the stressors. And a lot of people put work first or a lot of women put kids over their husband. I think I read a lot of articles, a lot of people on Facebook asking, should you feed your kids first? Should you feed your husband first? Should you, should you do that? Yeah, I got that question. Did you get that? Yeah, yes, so yes. it's a lot of women who believe. Oh, <laughs> oh, you feed you first. I said I'm eating first, then y'all get what's left. I'm oh, working on Oh, my hard. goodness. And so, um, so that's a good, I like that. That's a good point. Good point. What do you have to say, a love? Well, you know what? I think that uh, it's extremely important in terms of putting your spouse first. And I think sometimes as women, you know, especially when kids get involved, you know, the maternal mm -hmm. instinct kicks in mm -hmm. and yes. you really start thinking about, you know, the kids and asked to be here. You brought them here. So it's your responsibility to make sure that you're looking out and, and, and taking care of them and putting them first. But in the scope of things, I think that we really should take the time to realize that with a spouse, if the two of you are on the same accord, Accord, mm -hmm. they're always going to be first. Mm -hmm. Meaning that when you're on the same mm -hmm. accord, mm -hmm. then you make those decisions. Mm -hmm. So your spouse, whether you feed the children first or you feed him first, you've already got the understanding to where he knows that he's not being pushed to the side right. or neglected or yes. anything just because you choose to take the children or feed them right. first or do something with them or right. whatever. You still have that understanding because you know biblically biblically when you are married you the two become one mm -hmm. so at that point in time even though you still have a, a separate identity and you still have different things that you like and he has things that he likes if you're on the same accord that means that you're working towards the same goals you know, you all have a plan to where you have a five-year, ten-year, mm -hmm. whatever your life goals are. Because you have to understand that when the kids get grown, mm -hmm. they go on about their life. So if you've made your whole existence about your children right. during that time period, then what happens when you're a you're empty nester? Well, there a lot of a you know, lot of times that's when people divorce. Exactly because, because they don't like, have anything. Who are you? I don't even recognize you. Yeah. Who, who is this man or this woman I've been married to? You can take the time to nurture, mm -hmm. you know, your yes, spouse definitely. during the time that the children were growing up. Because at the end of the day, you still have to understand that it's the two of you mm -hmm. making a life together, and the children are coming in, and work is coming in, and and careers, and and different things you want to do, travel, and all those things. You have personal goals, but you should also have a goal that you do together. Yes. And it's really important to make sure that your spouse is the first person that you work with in order to make that happen. And I, and actually, you bring up a good point because. With that being said, that is part of what I would define as hard because, remember, we're talking and we're being transparent about who we are. Right. I wasn't raised that way. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, for me, it took time to <coughs> learn about nurturing a husband and different things like that. I was raised by a strong, single black woman. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we ain't have time to cry, do nothing, right. get up, to get you behind. <laughs> if something fall, you get right back up, mm -hmm. make it happen. You know, I didn't have a lot of, oh, let me hug you and just, you know, take this time to cry kind of thing. So for me, the nurturing part of having to nurture my husband was like, dude, you a grown man. Get it together. You know, do what you got to do. Be tough. Cry a little bit and then go on about your business. That is how, that's all I knew. So when you get into this marriage thing, you have to learn that you do have to be that way. You do have to learn how to listen to what hurts them and what's bothering them mm -hmm. and take the time to like hug them and spend time with them. And if you're not used to that not mm -hmm. being done, it's a very difficult task to learn in a marriage. It and is. I want to help out all women out there that right. have that mentality. You even, know? even if you know it's a difficult task, because see, I come from a, uh, um, I mean, we're in a different age now. It's a mm -hmm. different um, time, you know, with the millenniums and this type of thing. I was raised where men were 
I hate to say it. We say, what we say that men. And so, you know what I'm saying? I'm Amen. used to the man taking charge of everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He made sure the car ran. He made yes. sure the garbage was, garbage was out. Those are things that women in my house didn't do. If it's a man up in here, he did those things. He made sure that, you know, the house is fixed or what, you know, things that we just take for granted nowadays. And so there are a lot of single women. And even though my mother was divorced or I, I was raised by a lot of strong women, I still knew what the roles of a man was. Does that make sense? And so it makes it very hard for me mm -hmm. to take less. Mm -hmm. You know, so I expect my man to do certain things. And when they don't, then I'm looking at them like, you, right. what's wrong with you? You ain't no, dude, get it together. You see what I'm saying? So right. the same thing that you're saying is that um, we have to know that even though it doesn't look like what we think it should look like, mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just different. Exactly. And we have to learn how to adjust in that difference. Yeah, you do. And so instead of calling him a wuss or a punk or whatever, because some men just not, they don't have it or they didn't get it the way that I got it. Well, number, and to be honest or, with you, I think all people, period, men and women, should have a certain level. When you get married, there's an intimacy that is supposed to take place there. So for me, we all should want that. If I'm hurt, I want to be able to intimately go to you and hug you and want to be nurtured and taken care of. So I had but to you, learn. But if you've never, again, but if you've never seen that and all your image of that is TV, say for instance. Mm -hmm. Listen to what a man may feel. Okay, all she need me to do is to pay the bills, make sure that ain't nothing around here broke, mm -hmm. and take out the trash. Okay, I do that. Mm -hmm. I've done what you asked me. These was your minimum requirements, right. and I signed up, and you gave me the job. I'm hired. Now you're mad five years later right. because you're not dating me, and you're not romantic, right. and you're not, baby, you're not you asked to me. me to pay the bill. <laughs> right, right. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I took off the trash. Right. What okay. more do you want? I agree. So that's what I'm saying. Sometimes we get lost in what it's supposed to look like mm, that's good. and what we need. I agree. If I am dying and I'm on life support and I need a new kidney and you tell me, okay, well, we got a new heart. It doesn't matter. I'm still dying because what you're bringing me, I don't, don't need. need. Mm. Exactly. It don't that's go. I love that, Monique. I love it. And I'm going... And what, I'm sorry, Monica. I'm so I apologize, uh -huh. Monica. And we're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back. <laughs> Listen, Monica. <laughs> and I and I wanna I wanna come back to that because what I wanna say to that is a lot of times we don't know what our needs are, so we can't express that. So let's talk about that when we get back. Hot wife, hot life. We'll be right back.